when you freeze dry something, you yeah. basically bring it down to a very, very like below zero, like 32 degrees below zero. You're freezing this thing, freezing every molecule in whatever it is. And we'll just say, let's say for example, a horse's leg. And once it's frozen, then you put it in something that dehumidifies it and it extracts all the moisture out of that thing and the reason why you're extracting the moisture and to bring up to what sammy says he's got a leg from 25 years ago you would think this actual leg why doesn't it rot why doesn't it you know get mold and get you know break down the tissue and everything because the freeze drying process pulls every single ounce of humidity every single ounce of moisture out of that product whatever that item is to where it doesn't form bacteria and the it, the tissues don't break down. Uh, am I way off base? Was the video that I was watching off base, or is that basically what happens? No, that's the basic process. Uh, yes. You know, the, the freeze dryers we have are a, a large commercial processor. We can stick about 90 to 100 uh, specimens inside there. Uh, there's two chambers. There's the actual uh, freezer chamber, specimen chamber. Then there's a sec separate, like a vacuum chamber, and it's actually... Uh, I think the main chamber, I'd have to look at the numbers for sure, but like the main chamber will be or somewhere around zero degrees. Uh, and then the vacuum chamber that uh, uh, pulls the pulls the moisture into it will be, you know, 65 or 70 below zero. And that's where all the moisture accumulates. So it's a, it's basically freezing under a vacuum. Uh, it still takes, it takes us uh, anywhere from three to six months uh, of, of a specimen to be in that 